Hey guys, it's Monica. I am wearing, yes, this is my editor's pick wig and um, I'm going to be selling it. So yeah, at the end. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me. I am going to just give you a quick update on my, I want to say anti-aging endeavor. <laughs> my aging gracefully, my um, trying to not so much look younger, but just not so, just not look older than my age, right? I don't want to look older than my age. And an age, guess what, is an attitude. I know you've heard that before. I've heard that before, but age is definitely an attitude. I do believe that 100% how you look at life, the things that you do, keeping your mind engaged, all of that is gonna help you stay younger and more vibrant as you age, especially when you start to hit the age of 60, 70, which I'm going to be very soon. But in, when I hit 60, things really started to change for me. I started to see on my skin way more evidence of aging. I had a lot of wrinkles popping up. My skin texture was awful. I, um, I never used sunblock hardly at all. I mean, anything I ever used to, to uh, when I went out in the sun was a band of soleil or baby oil. And that was my normal thing, right? That was what I normally did. So it wasn't until I was in my 60s that I seriously started to think about skincare and think about how I look because all of a sudden I looked in the mirror and I was seeing all these things pop in and happen that I know was because all of those years, 60 some odd years, that I really didn't you know, take care of my skin. I, I wasn't raised with the idea of put sunblock on, wear a hat, cover yourself. You know, I had a mom who sometimes I came home from school, she was sunning herself in the backyard in her bra and undies. Now we had, you know, three acres of land, it was very private, but you know, if I knew she wasn't in the home, she was probably outside sunning herself, and she was. So that was sort of the, you know, the mindset. Well, when I hit 60 and I started to see changes, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I was pretty active on YouTube. You know, my anti-aging journey, um, while it only started when I was in my 60s, I have been on YouTube since, was it uh, 2009, creating lifestyle videos. I have two other, uh, two other uh, YouTube channels. I tried when I decided that I was going to try to refocus this channel on skincare, beauty, lifestyle like that and not so much real estate. I tried to take a lot of my real estate content off and I started a second channel just for real estate, which has not done very well. But that's where a lot of my real estate stuff is. And then I started a third channel for the real estate school that I run. You know, most of you know that I teach a lot of real estate uh, education classes. And one of the things that I do for my company is I teach pre-licensing classes and every state has different requirements. In New Hampshire, for example, it is a state approved program. You have to sit through 40 hours of classroom instruction. You have to get a certificate of completion. Then you have to pay a fee to the state to take an exam that's very hard. And, um, and then, and only then, can you actually, working as a real estate agent, can you be hired? And then when you're hired, there's a whole bunch of training. And, and most of you know I do that. So um, I've been on YouTube for a while, but I didn't really start the journey of aging gracefully or anti-aging until my, I think it was 63. I think that's how it was. I ended up taking, doing Retin-A. I, I watched a lot of beautiful ladies here on YouTube. Every All of them are still on YouTube except for one. And that's Natalie, the beauty diva. Many of you know that YouTube took her down. Um, she's on Instagram. So, you know, I I'm hoping that she can come back to YouTube. I know she wants that. But anyways, I started my, my journey by watching folks like Melissa 55, like Mary Ellen, 
Natalie the Beauty Diva, and there was a few more that I watched, and I just absolutely learned so much about skincare from these ladies, and I just loved what I was seeing. So very quickly, I decided I was gonna to try to explore this, and I was gonna try this and do that, and, and I was gonna share my results, good, bad, indifferent, and my mother, who many of you know passed away this year, my mother was always my most critical person, I think. She would give me criticism a lot. She hated the fact that I would come on YouTube without makeup or that I would actually share things on YouTube. She just thought that was horrible. But anyways, my mother, she set a strict standard, I think. And I, I so appreciate all that she taught me. And I know I have halfway decent genes, you know, from my mom and my dad, and both my parents lived into their 90s. And, and so I know I'm, I'm fortunate in that, but I had to, and I would talk to my mother and she would say, just my mother should just use Nivea cream. That's all she ever did, Dove soap, Nivea cream. She never used anything else. But when she was growing up and when she was a young woman, I think our environment, I think everything was different. Our air, pollution, everything was different. So when I started Retin-A, my mother was like, oh, get me some of that. So I, I got her some and I think she used it a couple of times and then never, never used it. But like with anything in skincare, right guys, you know you have to be consistent. And my mom wasn't, but my mom was beautiful. She didn't need to be consistent. I needed the consistency. So my Retin-A journey, my skincare journey has just been an amazing process for me because I do believe I look younger today than when I started and I do know that everything takes a long time to work and more importantly not only does it take a long time to work it ha you have to be consistent so I mentioned that I was going to give an update on my perfector I'm going to just show it to you this is the hand perfector <sighs> So I don't even know if this is gonna look the same because my darn battery died. When I film, by the way, I don't have, like some people have their camera hooked up to their computer and they get to see how they look in the frame. I don't have that. I'm just looking at the little viewfinder on my camera on my tripod. Uh, and I am using a camera rather than my phone. I use my phone a lot when I'm vlog styling and I'm out when I'm doing other different shots. But usually when I do these talking head videos, I've got a camera going. So anyways, um, what I was starting to say was that I had mentioned that I was gonna give you an update on my current body hand perfector. I have been using this since September. Now, most of you know, if you've, followed my journey. Um, my mother one time criticized my hands so bad that I've been so terribly um, conscious, self-conscious about my hands. I remember sending her a picture of my ring, my wedding ring, when I had something done to it. And she said, oh, the ring is beautiful, but too bad that it's on such old looking, ugly hands. <laughs> that was my mother. She was very, very outspoken. But I never forgot those words. So I hide my hands a lot. So um, I also, I've been using this since the end of September, but it isn't really an accurate test, I don't think, yet. Mainly because I went through a period of time where I've been very, very hard on my hands. There were certain things that I had to do that involved my hands, and I don't wear gloves. I don't wear gloves to wash my dishes. My sister does. She always puts on her gloves to wash dishes. She's awesome. I never do. So my hands have taken a beating. And rather than put gloves on, I use my hands to dig in the ground to pull stuff out. My hands and my nails are awful. So this was sent to me, complimentary, from Current Body. And then they had wanted to send to me a uh, the face LED face mask. And I have been using the one from Candyway. So I said to them, no, I'm using this one particular product from Candyway. I'm very happy with it. And uh, then they said, well, you know, we also have a hand device. Would you like to try that? I said, absolutely. So I have been using this since September, Current Body Skin Lead Hand Perfector. And since I'm not 
Angie Hatton Flashy. I don't know all the specs. I don't, I can't describe it like she can describe things. I'm just going to let you link to the site where you can read it yourself. I will also tell you that Black Friday's coming and there are tons of sales happening on these devices, especially I know Candyway's having a sale, Current Body's having a sale, a number of other places are having sales. So if you are at all thinking about doing red light therapy, um, LED hand perfector or a hair hat or a helmet or any of those, take advantage of some of the sales that are coming up because they're gonna be they're gonna be really good. But anyways, I use this. This automatically turns on when you press the button, you plug it in. This has to be plugged in, does not have a battery pack, it has to be plugged into a wall device. I put it on my lap, I turn it on. See, I won't turn it on now because I don't have the adapter here. I turn it on. I put both hands inside. I'll, I'll, put, I'll superimpose a picture that Jay took because I put both hands inside like you can see and I usually sit there and I do this pretty well consistently every night. When I say consistently every night, I went through a period of when there was a good two and a half week period that I hardly used anything. Jay was in the hospital for a week. I was running back and forth. When I came home, I, I could barely wash my face sometimes. So, and then when he did get out of the hospital, he was in rehab for a week. And I didn't want to have him be in rehab without me visiting him, you know? I mean, it's hard, right? When your, your spouse, significant other, loved one is in the hospital. And it's hard on the person who isn't because they feel like they have to be there. They have to go there. And then all sorts of other stuff falls by the, the wayside. And that's what happened. But since he's been home, I've been very, very consistent again. And I've been using the this current body LED hand device every single night for 10 minutes. I sit there, I put it in, I have an audio book on or a podcast that I'm listening to, or I'm watching a true crime um, video <laughs> on YouTube. Oh my gosh, are any of you following the Delphi, Indiana uh, case, the down the hill, the two girls with um, Abby, Abigail Williams and Liberty German, are any of you, have you been following that case? I am like, blown away by all the stuff that's happened in the last couple of weeks with that particular case. It's like unbelievable, mind-boggling. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do, if anyone's interested, I'll probably try to do a get ready with me talking about that case. Let me know if you think that'd be kind of cool, but that case just blows my mind. Anyways, the, the hand perfecter. You know what I noticed on my hands? I do think that my hands are looking a slight bit better, but not a whole lot. Not enough that I can say, yeah, it's made a difference on how my hands are, are aging. One thing I can tell you is I was starting to feel a lot of pain right about here in my hand, just this one hand. And um, when I had when I had um, gone to the doctor, I asked the doctor if it could potentially be them getting some arthritis. And he said, could very well be, because I had injured my hand when I was doing something at my mother's house. And ever since then, I've had pain in my hand. The pain in my hand, that's the first thing I really kind of noticed when I was using this consistently. The pain in my hand is hardly there. And it, was, it would be an uncomfortable pain that I would feel a lot. Now, it's, it's, I don't feel it much at all. It's still there, but I don't feel it as intense or as often and maybe it's just something that would have gone away on its own I don't know and maybe it has nothing to do with this but guess what I think it does have a lot to do with this so overall even though I have I can't sit here and say yeah my hands look 20 years younger my mother would say oh honey your hands look great I don't know what my mother would say I am really happy with this this was sent to me complimentary right I have a link it doesn't matter if you use my link or not, but I think there's a discount. I'll make sure I link, uh, link that below. Check out and wait for their Black, their Black Friday sales because I think they're gonna be awesome. But I would, I'm definitely gonna continue to use this. I, I'm that much impressed, at least with the little changes, and I do mean the little changes, but more often, more importantly, is the pain level has changed. So um, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm liking that a lot. So one thing that they did send me is they had reached out and 
asked me how I liked the hand perfector and I explained it. So I said to them, I said, I'm really curious. I see that you have the hair, you have the current body, the um, LED hair regrowth system. And she said, yes. I said, I would love to try that. And she said, okay. So they sent this to me. Now I can't remember if I started, when I started. One, I think I might have started in July. The hand I might have started in July, and this I might have started in September. I gotta look at my notes. But this is the Current Body Skin LED Hair Regrowth System. So I've been using this pretty consistently every day. And what's really cool about this, it does have an attachment here that is um, if you're listening to audiobooks or something like that, that you can play this while you're sitting there and you have this on your head. So I, I, what I do is before I put this on my head, I take my boar's head brush. I brush through my hair really, really good. Then I slip this on and I turn it on. The button is right here. You can turn it on. And like anything else, it is going to just end up beeping. You see that it's on. It goes for 10 minutes and it ends up beeping when it's done. So I think the hair part has only been since September and the hand since July. I'm pretty sure I had the dates mixed up. So what I've done after I take this off I just go back and I might, sometimes I use uh, the Ordinary Hair Serum and I just kind of put that in my hair a little bit afterwards. I don't like to do it a lot because I feel like my hair gets oily and I don't wash my hair every day. So I've been using that. I got this also complimentary. So I, you know, full disclosure, I got this complimentary. Too soon to really know any solid results. However, I'm optimistic. And the reason I'm optimistic is because all of the specs on both of these devices meet the requirement to make a difference. If you research the LED hat, and you'll see that there are people that rave about it. Those of you that follow Dr. Dre, yes, it's a different brand that she talks about, but she talks about the same thing. Um, there are a number of people that rave about and see a difference. Now, my hair thinning issue might be different than most others, but again, I did talk to my doctor, and uh, because I am on a five-year medication for the breast cancer, and the medication that I'm on, the side effects are lack of sleep. I, I can hardly sleep at night. I, I know I look like I have all these eye bags, and I do. Um, sleep is just really, I'm sleep deprived. I'm sleep deprived, that's all I can say. I'm struggling to get through that. The other, one of the other side effects are, um, some people have gained weight, some people, a, a lot of people lose hair, or their hair thins, or their, there's a major difference in their hair. I've noticed a difference in my hair. I also take a medication for, I take the oral Rogaine, which is finasteride, I take five milligrams of finasteride, which is like a liquid, which is like an oral organ or minoxidil, I should say. And I take that every night. So my doctor, who is not my, um, you know, is not the surgeon that did my lumpectomy recently, he's just my GP. He thinks it's awesome that I'm doing the current body hair regrowth. And he thinks the finasteride won't hurt anything. And neither, neither did my oncologist when I told him about that. So, you know, he thinks with the finasteride, the hair regrowth system, I may not show a big, I may not be the perfect candidate to review this, but it, it's, it could balance itself out and it could slow down dramatically the hair loss that I'm having, the shedding that I'm having. And I believe that to be true and sometimes remember i said aging is an attitude thing sometimes when you really believe something it just makes you all the more positive about it makes you all the more motivated i am all the more motivated and i think the big reason i'm motivated by these led devices is because i have seen 
humongous difference in my skin since I've been using the Candy Way. Now, Candy Way, gosh, I, I started using this in April. My mom died in April, and I started using it right after that. And I think the Candy Way, and I am an advocate of LED lights. I had the Trophy Skin. I had a number of others that I've tried. This one, I love it. I, I'm at the point where I do it just every day. It's in bed with me. I mean, it's on the side of my bed. So I get up, I go to the bathroom. I might just take a face cloth and wipe my face down in case there's any buildup of anything overnight. Then go back in bed. I usually lay it on. I turn it on. And... I turned it on and it and I just you know it, I just lie there and I don't get up I don't do anything it just kind of lie there and it shuts off in 10 minutes so this since I've been using it I've seen the biggest difference I think that my skin has gotten thicker it has definitely induced collagen I think it has helped my most scar really look really good most people in real life they can't even see the scar anymore i can see it a little bit but um you know even my husband he'll say you can't really even can't see that scar so i really think the biggest thing on my skin has been my candy way led of course i'm doing a ton of other skincare right i'm doing my retin-a um, I'm trying Ella Frida as far as my washing and all that stuff and I really think that's really good product but it is my LED mask that I think has made the biggest difference. I think that my skin has thickened on my face. There's less texture on my face. I think my pores look better on my face. I think some of my wrinkles have actually even softened a little bit on my face. But because my skin has thickened, my veins aren't as bad. Now, I have a lot of broken cap capillaries, whatever you call them, on my face. And um, I think that has made a huge difference, you know, as far as thicker skin, those broken veins don't show as much. So, anyways, absolutely, absolutely rave about this. I think they're also having a, a Black Friday sale. I've got the link below to their site. I don't have a discount code for Candy Way, but if I if my Candy Way device broke, I would buy it. I would buy it. If the current body helmet disappeared on me, broke, I would go ahead and buy it because I'm optimistic because I see the difference the face mask has made. I think the hair will help and I think with time and better consistent use, I think that the LED hand, I think perfecter will work. I really do. So I'm super pleased and yes, some of you are going to say, of course, well, these were all sent to her. She's doing a review. Well, for those of you that know me, you know, yes, they were sent to me. I'm very, very honest. I didn't pay anything for these three devices. Um, however, I've used and seen enough change, at least in the candy way, the face mask, that I am going to continue, without a doubt, monitoring and seeing everything. And it's so hard to do before and after pictures because everything always looks different. It's hard for me to take those pictures. But I catch a Black Friday sale for I don't care what brand it is, but if you can catch a Black Friday sale for a, a red light therapy, something to do with the LED for the anti-aging, jump on it, guys. Jump on it. Do yourself a favor, right? Age is an attitude. I get that. But um, sometimes part of that attitude is knowing that you're doing everything you can do to take care of yourself, basically. That's I know this was supposed to be a short video. It's probably a super long video. I do want to tell you this on my head. This is editor's pick. Vocal Welch, editor's pick. I have had this wig for, I want to say maybe three, maybe four years. It is a used wig. I have two of them. Um, I have the Elite, which is the hand tie cap that I, is the one I've been wearing lately. And then this is the original. This has had a bath. I've, well, I've had a, I've washed it a couple of times, obviously, but it's had a bamboo bath, which is to soften sort of the crinkly edges, which is what happens with a wig over time, and especially if it's a heat-friendly, you know, type of wig, which this is. Heat-friendly fibers means that the fibers look really awesome. This is a perfect wig for an updo, for pulling it back. I just think it's perfect. The only reason I'm selling this, it is used and loved and gently used 
and lots of love because I do love this wig, but the only reason I'm selling it is because I have another one. I don't need two of them. And the shade that I have is Shaded Cappuccino. Shaded Cappuccino, which is my favorite Raquel Welch color. I just love Shaded Cappuccino. So if you are a wig wearer and um, you want this wig, I will link my email down below. Let me know, send me an email. I am selling this. This is gently used in really good condition, but gently used and the edges will need to have some more bamboo treatment on them. Um, you know, you comb them out gently with a wide tooth, tooth comb and, and um, makes a big difference. So I am selling this at a really low, low price. And again, the only reason I'm selling this is that I have another one. This is an expensive wig. So for anyone wanting this very, very popular editor's pick from Raquel Welch in the very popular shade, Shaded Ch Cappuccino, I'm asking $40 for this plus shipping. That's a steal. That is a steal. I recently saw this wig sold um, uh, on one of the sell it Sundays, I think for 110 plus shipping. So I think $40 plus shipping, if anyone wants to try this wig, you, you will love it. And I'm gonna take it off. Don't laugh at me with my wig cap on, but I just wanna show you the cap on the inside. Lace front, monofilament, nice stretch. Raquel Welch is a roomy wig, so you can, it does have the, um, the Velcro cinches here that you can cinch it down. Oh, my hair is caught there. Um, really nice, nice, nice wig. So if you're interested, 40 bucks plus shipping, no box, send me an email. First person that says, I want that wig, gets it. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for watching my video. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, and if I have, and I didn't say it, please like the video. Please thumbs up the video. I truly, truly appreciate it. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Bye guys, thank you so much.